let's make sure we have the right text to work with. It's important to use a text that contains requirements, so we can learn how to meet specific standards. In this example, we'll use the text from the GDPR, a regulation implemented by the European Union. Now open the bulk ad sidebar and select the prompt to create user stories. Paste the text you have copied. Now the prompt is copied to the clipboard. Then open ChatGPT. Paste the clipboard and copy the result. This result you can paste into the terms box. Now it is handy to add a category as we also will generate controls in a moment. Press the add field button and then make a new field as a drop down. And then select the user story type. To get the controls for the same text, you select the correct prompt and repeat the steps. Let's format the controls differently now. The formatting of the user stories we can do later. Select the styling menu. And change the style. Now we have done some work, we better save it. Press the save icon and specify a name. You can load your document later using the file menu. I also added the user stories and controls from another part of the text. A quick tip, you can easily copy the styling from another element by pressing right-click and select the menu item. Now let's style the user stories. You can quickly select them based on the backend color. But I am showing how you can select them based on the field we set for them. Select the fields and filters option in the sidebar, and then select the field and the value. Now press the select button. I will give the user stories bigger boxes and a color. You can give the boxes any size you want. Now the user stories and controls are styled how I like them, I can play around with the layout a bit, so I get a better overview. Now I have harvested the user stories and controls, I can have a good look at them and maybe improve them when needed. You can edit the names and descriptions in the sidebar, 
or delete the ones you do not need. Let's draw some dependencies between the controls and the user stories now. Please note that I did not really analyze this, I created random dependencies for this demo. I will select the hierarchical layout to get a clear view on the dependencies. Here I added the rest of the dependencies. Now let's add a new column for the planning for the user stories. I will select in which quarter I will do the stories. The dependencies and the layout make it easy to do that. And now I am done. I press save so I can work on it later. And I can export it for example as an image. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.